How close are we to sitting in the cockpit of a self-driving car? It might not be here today, but at Volkswagen's floor space at the Canadian International Auto Show, you can see the first steps the German automaker is taking down that path. Meet the e-Golf. Yes, it's the same familiar design of the VW hatchback, but it's the first time that it's ditched the gas tank and gone all electric. You see, for Volkswagen, the self-driving future is also an electric future. But how close is the automaker to building a car that doesn't need a gas tank or a steering wheel? Just ask Thomas Tetzlaff, Public Relations Manager at Volkswagen. We're really not that far away. In 2020, we're going to be introducing a new line of cars called the ID line, and they're based on a scalable all-electric platform. And from this, we're going to be able to shed them or, or clad them rather with a whole bunch of different body styles. Everything from, you know, smaller hatchbacks to big people movers, all using the same technology. But what's beautiful about this is these will already have a starting point, which is the end point for a lot of our product line. So the autonomy features will already be there, and our plan is 2020 to be launching these cars, and by 2025, we're expecting full autonomy from these vehicles based upon the scalable technologies that we're putting in today. Volkswagen is reading the tea leaves, and it knows the next generation won't have the same relationship with their car that their grandparents did. Instead of owning a car, you'll get one on demand. Instead of a prized possession, it's a mobility solution. Even if that relationship is changing, Volkswagen still wants to provide the car. To do it, the automaker is undergoing its own digital transformation. As self-driving technology advances, automakers find themselves in a race to develop autonomy. You might call it the most transformation that the auto industry has ever seen. For Volkswagen, it says that it's never seen so much rapid change. At the end of 2016, it launched Moya, a new standalone mobility services company based in Berlin. The stated mission is to explore new mobility solutions and partner with cities in existing transport systems. It's seeking to work with startup talent and is likely to make some acquisitions. For example, it bought a stake in the ride-hailing app Get operating in more than 100 cities worldwide. By 2025, not only does VW plan to have a self-driving car, it plans to generate a substantial amount of its revenues from new business. Also helping it down that road is Volkswagen's electronics research laboratory in Silicon Valley. There, engineers are working on cutting edge fields like human computer interaction and improved battery technology because better batteries mean better electric cars. We know today that there's a certain segment of the population that can drive an electric car, and a certain segment that can't, simply by virtue of how many kilometers they do in an average day and such, their distance from a charging um, mode and such. We're going to eliminate that by increasing the range and improving on our technology. For VW, transformation isn't just about becoming autonomous, it's about becoming sustainable at the same time. For IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson.